Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I'm Nikki, the Pink Moon Tarotist, and I'm here to do your weekend reading for the Saturday the 20th and Sunday the 21st of February. So let's take a look and see what's in store. I'm going to use the Lightseer's Tarot. Surprise, surprise. I know, I'm always using that one these days. I will switch it up eventually. I have a very exciting tarot deck to share with you all, actually. I have two. I have two. I have one that I've had for a while and I just haven't broken the seal on it yet. And another one that arrived a couple of days ago, which I will share with you when I get used to it. But until then, please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. It's very much appreciated. But let's have a look and see what the weekend holds Ooh, in store without knocking the camera off. This is my highly technical camera sitting on the corner of the sofa. <laughs> and I say camera and I mean phone because, you know, that's all I have here at Pink Moon. OK, let's have a look. So what, oh, straight away we get the Queen of Wands, nice. What does the weekend hold in store? What does the weekend? I want that one, Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands, nice. We have the Ten of Swords and bits of my table falling apart again. Two of Pentacles, that's come up a lot lately. Ooh, I feel like <laughs> that was me juggling the cards then. Um, I feel like there's still that that unbalanced energy around us at the moment. I mean, Saturn, Saturn did clash with Uranus, I think, recently. Um, and we're heading towards a full moon. I'm gonna do a full moon reading at some point. Um, also got some bonus readings in the pipeline, but do check out your March readings. They'll be in the description box below. And, um, and yeah, so if you hit the little bell, you'll be notified when I upload the bonus readings. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? I'm not wanting to jump out today. Six of Wands, nice. Lots of wand energy, lots of creative, fiery energy going on. Oof. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Empress as our overall energy. Now, the Empress energy, this is um, the Divine Feminine. So it is nurturing and caring and birthing new things, birthing new creations. She takes all the alchemy of the magician, the knowledge of the high priestess, and she puts it to into action and starts to create those manifestations by birthing them through the earth. So it's nice energy to have as our overall energy there. Very, very, um, very, nurturing and caring energy i like that that's a nice nice way to start the weekend we also have in the middle here this two of pentacles now this has been coming up a lot that feeling of imbalance that feeling that something you know that you might be juggling something that feeling that things are not even and not on that kind of level playing field we also have around that we have the seven of swords um just underneath it the seven of swords this is the card of deception manipulation somebody may be um you may feel like someone is manipulating you or not telling you the whole truth and that can throw you off kilter that can make you feel like you're not you know you're not completely balanced here there's some strange energy going on like i say saturn and uranus have just clashed and that caused a bit of a, a discombobulation within the planets um and um you know that can make everybody feel a little bit unsettled 
now we do have oddly enough we have sword energy and wand energy going on quite a lot sword energy is the air energy and that is the energy of um, communication and knowledge and wisdom truth um but uh we also have that fiery energy of the wands and we do have the earthy energy as well of the pentacles here and the empress so we've got kind of three of the four elements going on here what's missing is the intuition that comes from the water energy now again on i'm just going from this middle bit because it it's worth kind of explaining around it we have the ten of swords the ten of swords is that feeling like you've been stabbed in the back it's the the progression on from that seven of swords you know you feel like in the seven of swords like someone's deceiving you there's been some manipulation somebody's not telling you the whole truth the eight of swords is that feeling like you're being bound um, nine of swords is that 4 a.m waking up nightmares you know worrying stress all the rest of it and then the ten of swords all the swords have landed in the traditional rider weight they are um you know the swords are all in the back of the soldier lying face down on the ground but what this does mean when you get the ten it's the completion so it's it's the swords of landage. You know what you're dealing with. You know what the, the losses are. You know what the pain is. You know what you've got to, to overcome. You know what you've got to heal. So it's a good thing when you get the 10 because it does mean that you are more aware of what's going on. And we've been getting the sun a lot in the readings lately as well. And the sun is all about that illumination, shining a light on those things, showing the false truths in their in their true light um we do also have going on from that the page going into the knight of swords now the page of swords is that bringing of fresh ideas new ideas new knowledge and then the knight of swords is taking it that step further developing that knowledge using that knowledge and um making decisions and you know that's sort of like he's the knight in shining armor saving the day um so this this is like the moving moving on from that ten of swords we're moving on to the page and the knight so we're using that information that we are gleaning to to save the day to move on to develop things to create new ideas to take a new path using that knowledge to inform us now, we also then have the Eight of Pentacles up above this Two of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles, this is the card of um, of working, of, you know, working through things, I think, in this instance. I don't see this so much as working on a project. I see this more of working through whatever issues are going on. And, you know, it's it's a good energy to have there because you have that that ability to to take that knowledge and work through it and take the steps that you need to take in order to achieve what you want to achieve we also have very creative energy here with this page of wands now she comes in you know she's got that youthful explosive joyful energy um and she's all about honing in those new skills, getting that, you know, um, taking these ideas, taking this inspiration from this page and then creating something out of it and making something happen. And we have the page turning into the queen and the queen, you know, she's creative, she's passionate, she's magical. Um, and it's that it, it's just knowing that when people see you like this it is a joy to behold to others and you are an inspiration to others when you can harness that queen of swords energy queen of wands sorry energy and we also have the six of wands here taking your place in the spotlight you know i mean look at her there she's standing literally in the spotlight with her hands to the air it's like look here i am i'm not ashamed of who i am i'm not ashamed of what i do i have the creativity and i have the joy with inside me and i'm going to step into that spotlight so there's a lot of good energy here it's a lot of a lot of healing and moving on and we've been getting that for a while that feeling of 
the need to move on from something, the need to overcome something. So let's have a look at the Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. Artworks by Danielle Noel. Okay, and straight away we get boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Yes, you see, this is your Seven of Swords and Ten of Swords energy here. You need to establish those boundaries to be able to, to protect yourself and your um, and your loved ones from any negative energies, but more about protecting yourself here from those negative energies. Set up those boundaries and it will help you to regain that balance that you have lost in that Two of Pentacles. Take another one. What else do we need to know? Thank you. And we get protection. Call back your power. Cut the cords. Soul retrieval. We've had this coming up a few times as well. Using that sword energy to cut those cords. Cut out that, that person or those people or that situation that is not serving you. Use it to sever the ties. Call your soul back to you. It is your soul to do with as you please. You are in control of your life, so take that control back. I'm going to take a Magical Mermaids and Dolphins, which is Doreen Virtue. I've been using this one a lot lately. I like this deck. Okay, what else do we need to know? Thank you. And we get the card of rest. We've been getting this one a lot as well. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Yeah. Yeah. We, as I keep saying, we all need to take time for ourselves. We all need to rest at times in order to see things more clearly. Um, an unrested mind is never a productive mind. No, not never. Some people work well unrested, but you know, you know what I mean. Taking that time for you, taking a time to rest is going to be um, beneficial in the long run. We all need sleep. <clears throat> okay, and we also get stay optimistic. So we get stay opti optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Beautiful, beautiful. That's really that's a really good message to take to heart here because you may feel like you're in the fray right now. You may feel like you're right in the midst of, you know, of the, the conflict or the, the, the bad feelings and the, you know, that it, you may feel like you're right in the heart of the stressful situation right now. But just stay optimistic. You will come out the other side. And take a wisdom of the hidden realms and then I will use a Colette Baron read and I will close the reading. Whew, that one wanted to come out and play. Yes, the Swan Queen. Transformation, intuition and patience. I love that. Isn't the Swan Queen just beautiful? It's just such a gorgeous card. So yeah, there is a transformation taking place here, but you need the patience to see it through. Don't give up before you reach the finish line. I won't bore you with a story about that, but <laughs> I do have a story about that one. Okay. And nice. We get the Queen of the Light. Illumination, enlightenment and celebration. That's that Six of Wands energy there. I feel like I've said that before quite recently. Nice. So yeah, step into the light, step into your power, be positive and be, um, you know, just be proud of who you are and what you can do and what you can achieve. And don't let others sidetrack you or push you off kilter with expectations that are not for you. You know, um, other people's expectations should not dictate your life. Nobody should dictate your life. Not even, you know, if you're watching tarot to get some inspiration, that's fine. But don't take tarot as a, as a means to planning your life. You know, nothing should plan your life except for you, your gut feelings, your inspiration, your intuition. So be confident within yourself. That's the overall message I have here. Be confident within yourself. Trust yourself. 
Okay, until the next day, um, or the next time rather, uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Check out your March readings in the description box below if you haven't already. And have a great weekend. Namaste.